We have a philosophy in the system where you shoot to get hot and you shoot to stay hot. It was transition up and down, threes, dunks, layups, crowd was going crazy. It was absolutely nuts. Helter skelter. It seemed like they have eight guys on the floor. They don't care. You can dunk on them 30 times. You can get 50 layups. They don't care. They're going to keep coming right back at you, and they're going to get threes up, and they're going to keep attacking you. It's incredible. You know, I remember last year after we played them the first time, I sat in my office, and I was just like, wow. In many ways, Grinnell College, a Division III basketball school in Iowa, has turned basic basketball fundamentals on their head. It's a brand of basketball that's gained nationwide attention, but a system that was born out of necessity when David Arsenault moved from the East Coast to the cornfields in the late 80s. They'd had 27 consecutive losing seasons, so I'm thinking, no, I mean, there's really no place to go but up. We're sitting here in the middle of the cornfields. Nobody really cared whether it worked or didn't. It made sense to try something different. Like, why practice the same thing that everybody else is doing and just be a poor man's version of them? But what is the system, as it's come to be called? At first, it was just a formula, a blueprint for upside-down basketball success. But since then, it's evolved into a philosophy. They sub in five players at a time, just like hockey, after only 30 to 60 second bursts on the floor. They try to score in the first 12 seconds of each possession, with half their shots coming from three-point land. And while their team is on defense, sometimes one, sometimes two players stand at half court, waiting for a fast break, the opposite of what a purist would teach. Our system is crazy. It's not normal basketball. The hardest part of learning the system was just to break good basketball habits that I've developed my entire life. I'm telling you right now, I, I still, I'm still unlearning. And they're telling me, well, don't be afraid to get scored on. I'm thinking, well, I just spent my entire life learning to protect the basket. I didn't think we'd win with it. I'm surprised to this date. I'll sit back, watch a film, and just amazement that we actually end up with more points than the other team. In many cases, a lot more points. And records, the sort of manufactured records that drive basketball purists mad. Cut that out. Yeah, no play like that. They've led the nation in scoring 18 of the past 20 years. In 2010, 19 different players made a three in one game. In January, Patrick Marr set the single game assist record with 37. And last season on a cold Iowa night, the Holy Grail, when Jack Taylor scored 138 points, then followed it up with a 109 point game a year later. Performance. It was a circus. The game was a circus. It was a surreal moment. If you think about the history of basketball from when Dr. Naismith invented the game up until now, how many guys can really say, well, I've played on a team where a guy scored 100 points? I mean, I can say that I've done that twice in my life. I got a lot of criticism from scoring 138. Ultimately, I don't play for them, and so I don't really play for their approval. You gotta give them credit. I mean, you gotta make them. As far as the necessity of it all, I guess some people would debate you know, whether that's necessary or not. It was kind of manufactured a little bit. That's where the resentment comes from. I know why I did it, and if I had the chance to do it again, I'd uh, let them get 165. Does that answer your question? It is ridiculous, it is entertaining, and it does drive the purist nuts. But amid the records and amid the headlines, Coach A has only managed five conference titles in his 25 years at Grinnell. So does the system even work? Some person may say, oh, well, they haven't won a conference championship in so many years. The other person may say, well, it attracts kids to their program, it gives them notoriety, they've won a lot of games, so therefore it works. I think the Grinnell coaches are geniuses. If they want the opponent to sit there and think that this is a gimmick, it's just, okay, it's a gimmick, but you still gotta play against it. As far as I know, the game is still about trying to outscore the opponent. David Arsenault came to Iowa thinking basketball was a simple game, but Grinnell basketball became the canvas for his mad genius. Some people loved it. More people hated it. Coach A didn't care. Because perhaps his biggest contribution to Naismith's sport is reminding us that, as in life, the mold is meant to be broken. We go to these away games, and for that team, that's the biggest night for them. And, you know, the circus is in town, and we might as well, you know, put on a show and entertain. A lot of people act like this is the end to civilization. We're just a bunch of kids playing basketball, having fun, and breaking some records in the process. We're different. I mean, we're not going to win national championships here, and I don't really care. If you're coming into this program, you better accept the fact that it's going to be out of the box. I'm telling you, this is my Neverland. Yeah.